tension, war, and revenge are now looming over the skies of the Middle East. The assassination of Hezbollah's top commander, Ibrahim Akil, has been described as a cowardly act by the Palestinian freedom-fighting organization Hamas, which has vowed to take revenge for this heinous attack. On Friday, in an Israeli airstrike in Beirut, Hezbollah's top commander, Ibrahim Akil, and 31 other innocent people lost their lives. Hamas has labeled this incident as an Israeli crime and madness, creating extreme tension between both sides, which is clearly escalating. Hezbollah and Hamas have promised revenge and declared that Israel will have to pay a heavy price for this. This incident could ignite the flames of conflict further, potentially sparking a new war across the region. Hezbollah, the Iran-backed group, has already begun retaliating, stating that they have launched Katyusha rockets at two positions in northern Israel. Meanwhile, in Gaza City, Israeli attacks have also been reported. According to Gaza's health ministry, 22 people were killed in an Israeli assault on a school in southern Gaza. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei stated that Israel is shamelessly committing crimes without any restraint. In Gaza, they act one way, in the West Bank, another, in Lebanon, another, and in Syria, yet another, targeting not just fighters, but ordinary people. Ayatollah Khamenei noted that Israel commits these crimes because the Muslim Ummah is not using its power effectively. He stated that it is possible to eradicate this cancerous tumor from the heart of the Muslim world, Palestine, but this requires the internal strength of the Muslim world. This is not just about liberating from Israeli occupation, but also about protecting the region from American intervention. He further emphasized that as a first step toward unity in the Muslim world, Muslim countries must sever all economic ties with this criminal circle. According to Khamenei, the Muslim world needs to reduce political relations with the occupying Israel and strengthen offensive actions through media. The Muslim world must clearly communicate that they stand with the oppressed Palestinian people. The chief commander of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, Major General Hossein Salami has warned that Israel will face a devastating response for its terrorist attacks in Lebanon and Tel Aviv. He stated that Israel has launched these attacks out of despair after losing the Gaza war, and they will inevitably face severe retaliation from the forces of unity.